Okay, so we haven't said anything yet about any dosages. We haven't even gotten there yet as far as dosage. Now we're just, we're just starting right now. We're going to talk to you a little bit about dosage. All right, and there's a chart. It's a pretty common chart. It's in your manual right now. You could take a look at it. And we're going to start with the dosage for the glabella region, okay, male versus female. So you can see there's, there's actually four columns here. Okay, they're male versus female and Botox versus Dysport. What you could see is Dysport, remember what I told you, the difference in dosage is, is 2.5 cc's more. Okay, or excuse me, 2.5 units, 2.5 units. All right, so if you're using uh, 20 units of Botox, how much of that is of Dysport would you use? 50, exactly, 50 units. Okay, so you can see from this chart the difference over here. All right, so these, these are the general points that you're going to inject. So when you inject the, the uh, central region, the glabella region, you're going to be injecting those muscles that we just talked about. So you're going to be injecting the procerus, the depressor supracilli, the corrugator muscles, all right? and there's different injection zones that you're going to inject. And this is what we're going to obviously be practicing during the hands-on part. But for now, what muscle is this over here that we're going to be injecting? Everybody see that okay from five minutes ago? Do you remember? All right, so this is the corrugator muscle over here, corrugator over here. I usually like to do two, two spots in the center, all right, and that's the procerus and the depressor supracilli. All right, so this is, your, this is your glabella region right in this area. All right, total dosage. What is the total dosage that you can use in this area? All right, you can see on a female patient, it's up to 30 units, and on a male patient, it's up to 40 units, up to 40 units. Now think about that. That's, that's a pretty hefty dosage. 40 units is almost half the bottle of Botox on a male patient in one area. But you can, you know, you can use that if you needed to. All right, so that's that. That's our glabella region. Um, this is a little bit about the technique. And again, you know, we're talking about it, but then we're going to practice it so you can see exactly how to do it. But this is, this is the pinch, uh, pinch technique for the corrugator and for the, uh, all the glabella region. So what you want to do is you want to pinch the muscle like this and just inject directly into the muscle. Some people just go like this, okay? It's, it's better to, to isolate the muscle so you know exactly what you're injecting and just go directly in. Uh, remember you're using a, um, a 30 gauge needle to half inch long and you're just going directly as deep enough until you know that you're in the muscle. All right? And then you just slowly inject whatever you're going to inject, four units. Usually I, I inject four units at each spot. Okay, so getting back to, to this dosage, I'm going to just kind of tell you something. And this applies to, um, this applies to everything, whether you're injecting the, the central area or the, you know, the, the forehead lines or any of this area as far as dosage goes, okay, especially on the first set of patients. Because if you think about it, when you start seeing your first 10 patients, you're not going to really know if you're doing a great job or not because you're not going to see the person back unless they needed a touch up or unless you made a mistake or unless there's something crooked you're not going to see the good results back right away. So you're not going to really know, you know, if you did a good job or not. So this is what, this is kind of like our own empire thing that we've been telling um, doctors and other practitioners for a long time, is div for the first set of 10 patients, divide it up into, into two office visits, okay? And explain to your patient, they're really going to appreciate this because it's going to save them a lot of money too. Tell them that what you're going to do is you're going to inject them today on the first visit. You're going to use the lowest dosage possible that's going to give good results. Okay, so the lowest dosage you have uh, on your consent form and on your treatment form, you've got a diagram that looks like the face, all right? And you're going to diagram and you're going to write down exactly the dosage in the different areas. So you might write down four units here, two, two, four, and you're going to um, do like a schematic of the exact dosage in the exact location. But what you're explaining to them is that on the first visit, okay, and again, it's going to save them money, is you're using the lowest dosage possible that's going to give them an effect, a good effect, all right? Um, and again, they're going to be saving a quite a bit amount of money because anybody could go in there and inject 40 units in the middle, all right? There's no skill in that, all right? And the person's going to, it's, they're going to have phenomenal results. It's going to be completely frozen. All right, but most people usually want to retain some of that animation and they want to be able to move their eyebrows and as they're speaking, okay? Plus they don't want to spend the, the $500 for just working in the middle, all right? So you might only need 12 units. You might only need 10 units. You'd be surprised that you really don't need that much Botox to give a very good effect. So on that first visit, in fact, the other thing that we recommend is for all the different areas that we're talking about, the uh, frontalis region, um, the glabella region, for the lateral cantharides, use a dosage of 8 to 12 units. Okay, so it's a, it's a standard number I'm giving you, but again, this is just for training purposes. This is just for your first set of, of 10 patients. 
All right, because you're not going to know. You go right in there and you do 30 units up at the top. If you've made a mistake too, you know, with that larger dosage, it's harder to correct and they're going to see more of an effect. So do a lower dosage on the first visit and explain to your patient. Say, I'd like you to come back in 10 to 14 days, all right? And what we'll do at that time is we'll do a little bit of a touch up if necessary that you may not even need to do anymore. And they may be happy with that. Um, and you've, they haven't overpaid anything, they haven't done anything extra. Okay, these are the correct dosages though. Okay, so obviously learn the correct dosages, uh, know exactly what you're gonna do. As you gain more and more experience, you're gonna start to just look at an area right away and you'll say, yeah, that's, that's gonna take 20 units. Or you'll look at an area and you'll say, that's, you know, that's uh, 14 units or whatever. Uh, but for now, to gain that expertise, you know, do the two visit thing. I think that'll be a big help. Okay, any questions on that so far? Okay, I think that should do it for now.